a lot of people have made these mistakes and they've gotten admission in schools that are not eligible for provincial nomination. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the Canada Info channel. My name is Wolo. I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I am based in New Brunswick, Canada. I used to be in Manitoba, but no longer in Manitoba, still in Manitoba, but now in New Brunswick. If you notice, my background is actually different. Yes, and this is because I'm actually in transit. I was trying to do something which I'll talk about at the end of this video. So, are you new to this channel? Please do me one thing, subscribe. Yes, if you are interested in immigrating to Canada, this is the best channel to follow because I share authentic immigration news about Canada. And to all my old subscribers, I want to say a very big thank you for being loyal, danke, eshe. <laughs> I keep forgetting all the languages. I'm in transit and a lot is actually going on. So today's video is actually in response to a post that I made on, on my shots. And that video or that post was actually talking about 19 universities that are eligible for the phd stream in ontario if you don't know there are master is the masters and the phd stream in ontario where if you study a master's program or a phd program in ontario you'll be eligible for provincial nomination but what people do not know is that there are specific schools for you to be eligible you don't just do a master's program any master's program from any random university and then become eligible for the master's graduate stream no so there are specific schools that will make you eligible if you study a master's program or a phd program in ontario and for these schools for, for the master's program there are about 21 of them for the phd program there are 19 universities so i'll be putting a screenshot of these schools so that you can have a look at them critically and then if you intend to study in Canada, maybe next year or maybe sometime in the future, please take note of this information so that you can be guided, so that you don't just go choose any random school to get your master's application or master's admission. This is because there are lots of private universities that are in Ontario and they offer admission as fast as possible. And you might get admission and come in and then you realize that the school is not even eligible for the master's graduate stream that will now make you lose out of an immigration pathway that you could be eligible for that is not even tied to express entry especially for those who whose age bracket are beyond a certain level this is my advice it is better to go for a master's program that is in a, an eligible school or a phd program that's in an eligible school so that by the time you complete your education, you'll be able to apply for provincial nomination if you are in Ontario. Another thing is the location of the school and the location of where you live also determine the kind of points you would get. So if your school is located in the central Toronto area, you might not get any points. But if your school is located in the northern part of Ontario, like Sudbury, Thunder Bay, you will get the maximum points. So you have to take note of these factors before you decide on jumping on the bandwagon of, oh, I want to come and study in Canada, I want to come and do a master's program or a master's in business administration, how do I get admission as fast as possible? A lot of people have made these mistakes and they've gotten admission in schools that are not eligible for provincial nomination. And at the end of the day, they have to start um, finding another pathway to be able to um, remain in Canada. So this is the information I said I was going to share. Um, I'm not in my usual background. This is because I'm actually in transit. I'm visiting some provinces. I intended to do short clips of the places that I'll be visiting and I'll be uploading them on my shots. So please support me. I actually wanted to do live video of all my trips, but I felt, you know, security wise, it's not wise. So I'll be posting short clips, short videos, 50, 60 second videos on my shots of all the places that I'll be visiting during this my short trip in Canada. So it's a mini vacation for me, <laughs> kind of. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Happy people. 
the truth of all the land of freedom. Oh, oh. Here we are. From far and wide we stand on God. Open up. Happy people, the truth of all the land of freedom. Oh, oh. Here we are. From far and wide we stand on God Our home and our native land In God we will trust Be the glory 